Though we are many, we are one body. We who come to share this living bread, cup of salvation, shared among all nations, nourishing us now and evermore. We gather in this place, round the table of the Lord. Christ's presence is revealed in our communion and his living word. Though we are many, we are one body, we who come to share this living bread, cup of salvation shared among all nations, nourishing us now and evermore. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome. It's good to see you. You're very welcome. Good to see familiar faces back again. You're very welcome and we stand on holy ground here once again and we gather to give praise and thanks to God for another new day. So we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and the peace of God who is Father, the love of Jesus the Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you to sing along with me. They say it's dangerous. We have to keep each other safe. So I'll try and do my best if you allow me to sing on my own, please. Okay. The God who gathers us is a God of love. He's a God who's kept us safe. He's a God who's been with us in this difficult journey over these last number of months. But he's a God who cares. And we come here to church today to give praise and thanks. And we come because we're sinners. Sinners who know we are sinners but that we're willing to give it another go. We're willing to strive for something better. And the God who gathers us is a God who is patient with us, a God who is lenient in his judgment, a God of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call on you. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding abounding in kindness and faithfulness, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to walk in your truth. Lord, have mercy. And the Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sinfulness and bring us all to everlasting life. Let's praise God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father, let us pray. Show favour, Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever.
when your sovereign power is questioned, and you expose the insolence of those who know it. But, disposing of such strength, you are mild in judgment. You govern us with great lenience, for you have only to will, and your power is there. By acting thus, you have taught a lesson to your people. For the virtuous man must be kindly to his fellow men. And you have given your sons the good hope that after sin you will grant repentance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great, and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sows good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed darnel among the wheat, and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servants said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No, because when you weed out the darnel, you might put up the wheat with it. Let them both grow till harvest, and at harvest time I shall say to the reapers, First, collect the darnel and tie it in bundles to be burnt. Then gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let them both grow till harvest time. 
There's a bit of bad in the best of us. There's a lot of good in the worst of us. Like the farm in the gospel story this morning, there he is looking at the weeds. He's looking at the wheat in his field. And you and I, we look at the goodness and the, and the sinfulness in our lives. People's strengths have their own weaknesses. A generous person can often be hot-tempered. A placid person might seem cold and unfeeling. Weeds and wheat, weeds and flowers, all growing in the same field. And God sees more of the colour and the growth than he does the weeds. And it's the same with you and with me. God sees more of the colour. God sees more of the growth in your life, my life. With God's grace and, and with our cooperation, the good can overcome the evil. And when God looks at a life, he sees the life completely, totally. He sees your life and my life completely. And the bad, the bad that is in your life and my life is lost and it's forgiven in the good. The word of God, God's word is patience. Patience. Sure, he says, let them grow till harvest time. That's what he says. Let them grow. Let them both grow to harvest time. Otherwise, if you cut everything, you're going to destroy the whole field, he says. God's word is patience. Lord, help me today to be patient with myself. Let me know that you see my heart and that you see that behind every fault and every sin, there's also the struggle to do good. Sure, let them both grow till harvest time. Let us now profess our shared faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead in his kingdom of life. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray to the Lord, who abounds in love and truth. Let us pray for all Christian people, that they may strive to imitate the the compassion and the understanding of Christ. 
Lord, hear us. For those who hold positions of authority, that they may always show wisdom and understanding as they exercise their authority. Lord, hear us. For those who have been uprooted as a result of bigotry or intolerance or violence or threat of life. Lord, hear us. For those who are victims of violence, that they may not allow themselves to be poisoned by bitterness. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for ourselves present here today that we may be able to see and develop the good that is in ourselves, that we may recognize the goodness in each other today. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for all those who have asked us to bring them to God in prayer, especially those who are sick, whether at home or in hospital or in care institution. Let's pray for all those who care for the sick, doctors and nurses and carers, all those who work in the front line. Let us pray that they may be kept safe. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for our dead, especially those who have died as a result of coronavirus, all those who have died recently, especially John McGurin in our own parish, whose funeral took place here on Friday. All those whose anniversaries occur at this time, especially Clarice Stewart, for whom our Mass this morning is being offered. That they may enjoy the fullness of life in the kingdom of all the saints. Lord, hear us. Let's pray in silence for our own personal family needs today. Heavenly Father, we are like seeds planted by you in the same field. Together we soak up the sun and we sway in the wind. Grant that we may help each other to grow towards what you have called us all to be. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of everyone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and the saints, we now praise you. And without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the mem memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on your church. And we give thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We ask that sharing the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, St. Anne, and all the saints who plead you down the ages, that we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we can now say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day. That with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from every distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ and you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but look in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the smile of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God.
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter onto my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. coming for Holy Communion, we would ask those in the main body of the church to come into the centre aisle and return to your seats by the side aisle, please. Those in the side portions, if you come up the extreme of the, near the altar and return by the side aisle as well, please. And again, Communion is received in the hand. To the stewards will direct you. Those who are outside the church will make a facility for you to receive the Eucharist inside the door of the church in the porch.
Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. On the day of the harvest, the straw is set aside. The chaff is blown away by the wind and the weeds are consigned to the flames. But the wheat, like sacks of gold, is gathered into the barn. Lord, on the day of death, the harvest of my life will be poured out before you. Wheat and chaff and weeds together. Let your wise hand sift through it, then keep what is worth keeping, and with the breath of your kindness, blow the rest away. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every one of thine. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our church is open during the week for private prayer, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday mornings from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock noon. And at 10 o'clock this week, we'll have a communion service. That's at 10 o'clock on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday morning of this coming week. But ask you to always check the bulletin for the latest news, the latest information, and you'll find that bulletin on the website. It's updated continually. So please always go to the website, always check the bulletin for the latest news. There's a few copies of, well, only two pages of the bulletin printed at the front door. It's only two of the first two pages. There are many more pages on the website available to you. But always check the bulletin, please, on the website. We, don't, we didn't have a collection, but that doesn't mean we need your donations. So at the exits, as you exit the two side doors, there's a collection box there for your envelopes. And we thank you for your continued generosity during this very difficult time. And I thank all those who have delivered collection boxes and the information about standing orders too. So uh, please look at the website and the bulletin for, informa for information about standing orders. It's the best way to contribute and support the work in our parish. Our services are continually continuing to be uploaded onto our YouTube channel. So our service this morning will be uploaded and should be on the it should be out there very shortly this morning. People have asked about Trocra boxes. Again in the bulletin you find information about the Trocra boxes, how you can donate to Trocra. If you feel that you want to return your box to the parish, that's okay. Bring it at mass time and leave it with us and we'll look after it for you. But again, all that information is on our website and on our bulletin there on the website. A big thank you to all our stewards and uh, all our cleaners who make this possible. We wouldn't be able to gather here this morning or any day without a wonderful team of volunteers who steward us, keep us safe and clean our church after each service. And uh, at the moment that's five times in a week. If there's a funeral, that's an extra time. If there's baptisms, as we'll be starting our baptisms in August again, again, that'll be extra work. So I would ask you, please, please, uh, to, if you have 
If you have a few minutes and you want to offer your services, it would be very much appreciated. But a big thank you to all those who worked so hard to make this possible today. The Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless and protect you today and keep you and your family safe. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify God by your life. Thanks be to God. Though we are many, we are one body. We who come to share this living bread, cup of salvation, shared among all nations, nourishing us now and evermore. Now our communion recalls Christ's death and resurrection. This living sacrifice is our salvation now and evermore. Though we are many, we are one body. We who come to share this living bread, cup of salvation shared among all nations, nourishing us now and evermore. And through this shared Eucharist, we are the living church. We witness to Christ's love, his living body active in our world. Though we are many, we are one body. We who come to share this living bread, cup of salvation shared among all nations, nourishing us now and evermore.